I'm John Feely of Feely's Clutch, and you are watching Reptiles Unplugged. This is Wilma Rose from Royal Canadian Reptiles, and you're watching Reptiles Unplugged. Guys, it's KB Reptiles. Team Helga. Team Beard. And you're watching Reptiles, Reptiles Unplugged. Unplugged. It's Justin from Jacob Bug Reptiles, and you're watching Reptiles Unplugged. Nick with Renowned Reptiles here, and you're watching Reptiles Unplugged. On, it's your boy Harry Wayne from Royal Canvas Exotics, and you're tuning in to Reptiles Unplugged. You're a triple B, and you're watching Reptiles Unplugged. Yo, what, what is up? Yeah, <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Good stuff, dude. Adam, long time no see, man. It's been yeah. a while. Yeah, it has been every been week, you know? Every yeah. single week, I'd see I'd see that beautiful face of yours. Uh, I've been missing it, man. I've been missing it. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie. You, you, you're enjoying dude, you got this, it. You got the scruff coming in, dude. Look at it. Like, you, yeah, it's all it's all coming back. Like, yeah. Man, different. I love it, dude. Cheers. I'm cheers to 2020. Hey, cheers. Yeah, dude. Uh, elegant anomaly. Crazy. Yeah. Like, did yeah. that, like, actual gold. It's like. I don't know. It's almost like paint, you know, but yeah. it's not paint. Obviously, it's like reflective. Uh, it's pretty sick. Yeah, it's like the golden ticket. You have won. Mm hmm. That's yeah. what it reminds me of. Yeah, like the golden ticket. It's like metallic. <laughs> For sure. On the camera, it's reflecting good. I'm rocking all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. I like shirt. Uh, he just had a cool clutch hatched out. A yeah. Got his hit. His hit a scaleless. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, was involved in that project for a little while myself. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. O'Malley's, what's going on, man? Dude, good to have you. B and Z, Elite, Dale. Nice to see you, Cameron. How we doing? <clears throat> yeah, Bob, I just posted a cool video. A uh, yep. new breeding project. <clears throat> nice, yeah, nice. You know, I got to get back on the, uh, the YouTube uh, deal here. Um, you know, I've just kind of been... Uh, Stepping away from all that stuff a lot recently, and um, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, yeah for, that. for for good reason, a little bit, you know, gets a yeah. gets a little frosty out there on social media. <laughs> um, but you know, that that uh, I've I've decided like that, real good, just you know, like just video that's about the animal and stuff like that um, has been a good escape from a lot of stuff. Like you know, ch checking out some channels that are just doing like literally just like. Hey, here's my snake. Like, this is how cool it looks. Uh, and this is it, you know. That's it's been true. cool. You know, yeah. I, I like watching like Garrick Demeyer's videos are cool. They're just like, holy shit, you know, these these are here's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's a clutch. This is what happened. This too, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, I love those videos. You're just like, huh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but and the project videos, you know, I love all that. Project videos like, are cool. Yeah. I've got a big save list going right now. You know, because I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, get yeah. it in my thread if I'm on YouTube for a quick second. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to save that. All right, all right, all right, you know. Right, right. Uh, yeah. I, I, haven't even, I haven't watched Justin's latest video that he did with the cryptic Krypton genetic. I just tried to watch it real quick, actually, before this. Um, he was kind of breaking down, like, uh, how, how, like, the genes worked, you know, like how cryptic works with clown you know when you get a, a het clown and a het cryptic you know you get a krypton uh kind of kind of like explaining like like that dynamic um but i didn't i didn't catch like the specifics of it i feel like the the heavy hitter like information from it because i was like walking in and out so i need to go back and rewatch it but um but that's yeah, the kind that, cool. that i like yeah i can't wait to yeah. watch the video you know because and that project in itself is quite interesting, you know, an allelic recessive, like, I yeah. Don't know. yeah, like we're, 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 yeah, but not visual recessive, you know, it's, it's, it's the heterozygous, right? You know, That's virgin. Yeah. It's weird. Totally. You know, what a, what a weird thing, you know, and I saw some pretty crazy animals uh, earlier in the year. There was like a, a lesser Krypton het DG. So like, technically is that like a triple het? Like a het clown, het cryptic, het DG. Like, you know, what does that, that animal do? You know, so um, heck of a project, but yeah, it is crazy. But, yeah, definitely. So I can't wait to watch that one. There's a bunch of others out there too, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hey, what's up, man? We got Nick. Nick, yeah, how you doing? So Nick. <laughs> yeah. David. Paul, John, John, how we doing? Wiz, what's going on? Nice to have you. Vivid. Oh, vivid. Vivid put it in a good way. It's basically like the Candino allelic, you know, deal with albino. Right. Um, 
only difference with you know so you can't tell the difference between the krypton and the cryptic right 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 yeah, yeah. so that's like the hang-up right that's like the little bit of maybe nuance to the project i feel like is that like piece right there yeah but Justin showed what I think was a pretty marvelous cryptic animal at the end. Uh, and I was just like, whew, okay, you know, there is reason to work the project maybe. Um, <laughs> but to be honest, uh, I think it looks a lot like puzzle in ways. It and does. So kind of, when yeah. I saw that, I was like, hmm, I wonder what that version of a puzzle would look like. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, yeah, there are some similarities. That's. Uh... That's for sure. How's the back, Adam? I think. Oh, that's Joel, John. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I think uh, maybe it'll look cool. I, I think it's gonna be kind of like clown, where the the puzzle is just so dang strong that like yeah. not many pattern influencers kind of uh, help it out per se. Like you get what I'm right. saying? Like it comes right, in right, right. Just doing its own deal, but right. I. I always room and uh to, to explore things like that that's what's fun about this hobby right is my yeah. opinion is only my opinion and and if you've got the itch to figure something out or do it yeah oh, yeah right. do please you know please do it for us because i want to see it that's that's right. the thing like i just want to keep seeing cool snakes like i'm so addicted to seeing just cool snakes that's why mm -hmm. you know we're here i feel like that's you know primarily how i pair all my do all my pairings and I feel like that's most like anybody I talk to that's how you're doing your pairings or you're making stuff for yourself and you're making stuff you want to see so uh yeah man yeah. that's what it's about right that's the fun part yeah. about it you know yeah Definitely. yeah yeah Ooh, bod's got a nice pickup out there an orange dream honey cypress double hat dg krypton right okay so yeah okay krypton I, would be then the het clown head cryptic I would it's think. either so it's either het cryptic or het clown oh because it's a krypton and you can't tell <laughs> right see, this uh, is, this see. Is confusion. now you've done confused me again joel I yeah thought I yeah bought it and there uh, there you go right <laughs> <laughs> yeah see this is this is this is uh this is why you shouldn't listen to me right now right. Um, I, I have no idea what I'm, i just i literally just said yeah i kind of watched the video justin just put out uh i don't i didn't really understand it i'm gonna have to rewatch it again and then now i'm telling things so you yeah, fake, don't, fake don't news, listen. spreading fake, fake news I'm, I'm spreading fake news right now so don't <laughs> don't listen to what i'm saying please right <laughs> you know, matt this is ridiculous <laughs> that's what i'm saying like let's just let's backtrack let's just backtrack all right uh kryptons look cool don't know anything about them so right there you uh, go we'll, and we'll leave we'll it at that right there yeah, right. lean more. If you want to know more, Justin just posted a really cool video you should go check out. <laughs> Don't listen to anything we just said. Go check out Justin's video. I'm sure it'll be much clearer at that point. <laughs> yes, yes. we come back, comment how it's supposed to be on this video. There you go. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then then you can check comments later if you're rewatching this and see what actually happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, man. Right, right. <laughs> no backtracking, John. <laughs> oh yeah, what about reptile shows? I know I just saw some comments from a uh, chat talking about them. So sounds like uh, some shows maybe in April going down Arlington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arlington. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Tennessee's got a show. Um, I'm pretty sure California permanently banned all shows for the rest of existence at this point. <laughs> yeah, I was that, say that. that might be fake news, but we'll, uh, I'm pretty confident, actually. You know, that could be fake news, but I'm pretty confident in your uh, your outlook. But Arizona didn't, so we we saw an Arizona show. Oh, that's cool. You guys are only like six hours away, so yeah, uh, dude. We need to rally an, another one, a big one. Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll make our own show. There you go. Everybody, can just come hang out. The the like live rep the actual live reptiles unplugged. Like, It'll be a live <laughs> reptiles unplugged. Yeah, it'll just be an open area and a bar. An well, open bar. There you go, right? Because we're too cheap to rent a convention center, so we are crashing yeah. your neighborhood bar wherever that. <laughs> yeah. <is. laughs> yeah. Right, absolutely, and it is a uh, bring your own, so there will be no tab either. You really have to just pay to show up to pay for yourself. <laughs> 
It'll be a great time, though. Only entrance fee <laughs> is uh, drink from the bar. There you go. Drink from the bar. That's your entrance fee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year, JK. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year's, everybody. This is uh, yeah. the first time. Yeah. Happy I'm New Year. How rude of you, Joel, not to wish everybody a happy New Year's. I did briefly. Uh, I said it really quick, um, but, you know, it uh, it didn't I, resonate at the right I was, time. I wasn't listening. Uh, so we just, you know, we, we, we kept on rolling, man. So happy New Year's. <laughs> Oh, man, definitely. You know, it is weird, like, taking the break and doing all that and everything. Um, yeah, it's, uh, let's see, since Thanksgiving or a week or two before Thanksgiving, I think, right? So about two months or something. Yeah, I feel like it's been like two months. That's close to it. Uh, yeah. Over a month, obviously, because yeah. uh, we're almost midway through January right now. So, right. you know, we were all the month of December, I think. So, yeah. yeah, quite a while. <clears throat> I have a show every Wednesday weekend in January and two schedules in February. Wow, Simon, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Where are those shows at? That's what it is. And the show that I've learned absolutely nothing in 2020, I'm still going to call Simon Simon, even though I know that's not his real name. So. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <Isn't it> right? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he's a, he's a squared about it though, but I had a conversation a while ago. Like, I forget. <laughs> yeah, the mid, they're in the Midwest though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Midwest. that's wild. Huh, yeah, that's cool though. I'm glad there's that there, out there. Yeah, Oliver, missed you. I know. I was in Colorado for like 16 hours. It was crazy. It was such a long drive for such a short time. <clears throat> and that was the uh, second puppy that you. Uh, yeah, we had, yeah, we had uh, two puppies. Yeah, we two uh, eight-week-old puppies. Nine, can, eight or nine uh, week old puppies. Can yeah. we get a show and tell at some point in, in the show? Uh, yeah, we probably puppy. could. They're uh, they're actually Are being they? really good right now. Okay, they, yeah, we probably don't want to disturb them. Yeah, though. it's a whole <laughs> thing, right? Like we have we have a moment of peace right now, actually. <laughs> It's a rare thing uh, with right. any puppy, right? Then, then uh, at the end, we'll disrupt them. So that way we get the pleasure of seeing them. And then you guys, you and Kirsty can deal with that after. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's, that's perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that was a great for you, though. You went up yeah, there, flipped around it, right it, away, it, pretty much. Came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was a drive. Um, Glad that's over, but pretty, pretty state up there. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in Colorado. I love it. It's so pretty up there. Uh, Apex, thanks, but man. Cold. Apex, you didn't miss much at all. Just uh, us yeah. spreading misinformation, any opportunities <clears throat> yet, and yeah. uh, some chit chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you miss, you need to go watch Justin's video on cryptic and Krypton. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> disregard anything. Uh, we're at 13 minutes now, roughly. So disregard yeah. the first 13. Yeah. yeah so we just started Apex. That's what we're trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so snake news, though. Have you had anything exciting at your place take take place? Like, um, you know? I uh, I just got a new snake in yesterday. I haven't told anybody about. Oh, very yeah. odd. Yeah, I got a uh, uh, pastel sunset female in. Um, she's rad nice. uh, and I will get her out, but I want her to, uh, not be messed with. So she'll eat as soon as she can for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, be looking, I'll be looking to save that video you post in my save to watch later. Yeah. 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 I gotta do whole thing on it. yeah. I'm excited, man. She's so yeah. pretty. I, I love that project. Obviously, uh, catches a lot of flack, which is even more reason for me to get involved with it. So, you know, gives me a motivation, you know? Yeah. Every time, yeah. every time I hear something, you know, sunset sucks or it's just a brown snake or blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, perfect. Surprise. This is motivating. Yeah. yeah. Motivating yeah. me to try to find something cool. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Man. It. Yeah. I it's crazy. It's you know, that was one of those snakes when I was first getting into, they were like $50,000, you know, like I'd be blown away mm. by that. Uh, mm. And so it's like, you know, it's cool to have one. You know, now obviously price is significantly lower, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's how it goes. That's the name of the game here. 
Yeah, that is the name of the game, you know, supply and demand uh, at yep. kind of its finest uh, example of what it is. The more it gets produced, you know, the price comes down a bit and all that good stuff. But yeah, yeah. The nice thing is, is that as the price does lower, it is opening the door for more and more people to get more involved. Clients. And right. you got you get this kind of see it expand yeah. beyond, you know, yeah. some of the obvious things. Yeah. Yeah, and that's you know that's some of the secret behind these these super super expensive uh, morphs. You know, like if you can find a gene like Stranger or you know any of these super high dollar things, and you take that leap and take that risk, you know, a lot of times there's not a lot of people that have it, so your competition's low on anybody that wants it, and you do get to ride it all the way down. You know, and that's you know you'll have yeah. you know I I only have one. Uh, that's my only visual sunset girl. I mean, there's people producing visual sunsets every year. I'm right. years behind, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. and they wrote it because they bought in at a higher price, you know? Right, right, exactly. That's one of the benefits, right? You yeah. pay a little more up front, but hey, you're right at the beginning, so you get to ride that wave. And you just get to ride it longer, right. Yeah, yeah. So, what are your plans with her? Are you uh, making more sunsets immediately? You gonna... Um, probably hypo, I do, I think the hypo, uh, Hypo sunsets are the coolest sunsets I've seen. So okay. I think that's, uh, yeah. So that's that's definitely the direction we'll be going. Definitely. Dude, what about your rainbows? Yeah, rainbow yeah, yeah. Sunsets, so bro. that's, yeah, right. So because the, you know, rainbows look like bananas, right? Um, the uh, bananas that Miguel produced, the banana sunsets, those are like some of the prettiest sunsets I've seen, you know? So yeah, um, yeah that's definitely the route, you know? He's hypo too, so works out perfect. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll get some sunset or some, uh, and he's just super inchy, so we'll get inchy, pastel, you know, triple heads, double heads, stuff like that. Out of yeah. It. I so, think that that'd be pretty crazy, man. Yeah, that, I think that'll be a uh, long term long term goal on that. I think that's gonna be yeah. rad. Well, you got a couple yeah. years, or at least I got a couple years in it, you know, to decide. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Hopefully I have like a different male by then that I could put him to a different rainbow. Yeah. But um how big's your rainbow now? He's not that big. He's like 250 grams maybe. Maybe, oh, okay. you know. He's pretty small. Um yeah. I don't I don't know. I I I need to pick up his food size, but I just have a ton of fuzzy rats still. So I'm just mm -hmm. kind of feeding him off basically. So I need to probably maybe feed him two instead of just one yeah because uh, he's bigger than he's significant he like he needs a bigger rat like a weaned rat probably right right <clears throat> but i just have really nothing for him to go to this year anyway so i don't really care you know yeah i'll, I'll, just, yeah. Yeah, I'll just grow him up slow he'll be ready next year for sure and i'll have a whole yeah. bunch of stuff for him yeah so. my uh pastel weirdo hat puzzle boy is kind of at that age too where you know he's easily he could easily take like a pretty good sized weaned but sometimes i end up feeding like two small pups type of thing right. and, uh, that. right not definitely not cost effective doing it that way but <laughs> right. um, you know with that if that's what you got that's what you got you know so. yeah no yeah and i did it too also oliver produced some sunsets this year that were crazy oh dude definitely so, got to give cred to oliver's clutch yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing so, yeah i mean i think i think the project has a ton of length but um which i've seen a lot with it i mean clown has been around for decades you know maybe i don't know about that i think decade you know it's been around forever right mm -hmm. uh, just now recently the past probably what eight years nine years it's been heavily worked yeah Look what we have you know it's crazy it's like the pinnacle of the industry is clown combos <laughs> you know yeah so i still remember around 2012 walking around the reptile shows anybody got clowns and you know they're looking at me like you look at this newbie in here asking for like a fifteen thousand dollar snake <laughs> and i'm right. like no right. your, your bumblebee's too expensive but do you have clowns and they're like get out of here kid like right. <laughs> right. 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 right what the hell right what are you know yeah yeah that's how it works <laughs> uh, thanks for the super chat cameron um that's pretty cool so yeah, it's a pretty good question. Um, I think here's the best place to start a very real and serious discussion that how we as a community are going to adapt with some hyperinflation. You know, that's a super real uh, 
point and thing to talk yeah. about, right? I Absolutely. Mean, That's such a cool subject. Definitely. Yeah. yeah cool. And, and, you know, a little scary at the same time, right? It's kind of right. weird to think that your dollar today could be worth 50 cents tomorrow. And a lot of that is yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of out of your control. Um, yep. You know. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And there, there was, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to recognize that there was a massive influx of income into the industry this past year. Mm. Uh, you know, you can, you can tell that by just how many snakes were sold. Everybody had a problem with not having enough snakes. I feel like, you know, most, yeah. most people I talk to, um, mm -hmm. and you know, it's, you know, it's, it's not like I wasn't buying, I was buying snakes too. Like everybody was just buying snakes. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, which is great. I love it. Uh, but there might be, you know, a lull now, definitely since everybody's kind of, you know, spent a bunch of money already. So, um, that's, that's kind of, I feel like the natural wave of how this market goes too. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, I mean, talking about like inflation on like a national sense too, right. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you know, things to be aware of, but I think, uh, you gotta be careful. You're not chicken little out there. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Declaring the skies. Yeah, have some faith. Right. Yeah. Faith. And, and again, like like you were saying, uh, the ebbs and flows of markets um, obviously right. react to to currency. They they have to, right? But at right. the same time, too, we can also be responsible breeders and and buyers, right? So, yeah, handling somebody down to the bare bones of what they're willing to let that animal go, while may save you a buck up front. That might not be the best thing also for the project right so there is something to be said of when right. you're buying snakes the value you're buying them for um becomes the right. new reality of it right so Dude, totally totally i i completely agree and you know like bods bods was saying you know all markets ups and downs yeah definitely yeah. you know it's uh just the nature of the beast right that's that's what makes it fun because when yeah. it's great it's great <laughs> you know yeah. We don't live for the lame days. We live for the great days. So, you know, I'm a sage. when you're there, <laughs> right. I love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Bring yeah. on the worst time you possibly can. I don't want to, any time. Mean, you know, still currently, like Nick was saying, you know, he needs more space for more snakes. Me too. Like I, that's, that's where I'm, my, my program is still in expansion right now. So, mm -hmm. uh, I still, you know, pretty big believer in the, uh, overall, overall, uh market i guess we'll call it industry oh, me too. So, yeah. yeah definitely i i definitely don't foresee this going anywhere anytime soon i i think that you know through uh, through this last year it has shown us that yeah there you know a lot of people out there purchasing getting interested in this i think maybe that's one of the benefits of everybody being stuck at home so so much right yeah. 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 right Everybody it was easy yeah. to pay attention to your snakes, you know? Yeah, easy to pay attention. You, into it, you know, and you're like, man, this is, this is, I really like doing this. And then, you know, that brought in a lot of interest, which is great because it is great. Um, you know, it's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Apex was saying he couldn't hold any of his snakes for longer than two days. I mean, you know, that's very yeah. common from what I've been hearing. Yeah. I, I sold out, uh, you know, we don't have a bunch of snakes here, but definitely we, you know, we sold out before the end of the year um long before yeah <laughs> so yeah. yes yeah i don't know shane's comment you can't have great days without the lame days team 15 yeah. minutes of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i agree man it's true and i still haven't seen the lame day so yeah. you know that's the other side of it um there it is yeah erica yeah. Bought, bought her first snake she's stuck at home right there it is so i need it they're an well, easy pet Welcome to the uh, addiction, Erica. Uh, uh, yeah. We're still developing our 12 step process, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have get there for you soon. <laughs> yeah, before your 50th snake, we'll get you there. <laughs> uh, for sure. <laughs> and that's the, the other fun side to this hobby is um, kind of working on what you got. You see other people working on other things and really the price point has come down where it's, 
pretty easy to get into most projects that that you would it like is, to man. yeah, yeah. The, wall's, the wall's been lowered but i think that's a good thing not not a bad it thing. is yeah and, and i think too the cer certain price points too like obviously when you're when you're buying snakes that are thousands of dollars you're investing into some form of money obviously like i i don't know like i don't feel like we have to like beat around the bush to that um and so like when you when you consider like what a what a business loan would be to start any other business it's it's pretty insignificant what you can do uh with 10 15000 dollars you know and that includes like a rack system um and some snakes you know so um it is it's it's cool in that way that it, it can really start something that uh as we've seen you know a lot of people it's infinite and what you can do with it so uh it is a ton of fun yeah definitely toss that program off snakes is crap now the toss is wrong <laughs> on now that's booming <laughs> yeah, is on his, yeah that, that market is killing it <laughs> yeah. sure. that's that's it's definitely an easier sell though <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for sure for that's sure. what yeah bods 20 clutches last year and has 17 snakes left that's crazy that's a lot of snakes 20 clutches yeah you know i don't even know yeah. what kind of math that is what's what's 20 times 5 100 joel 10, 120. You're fired. <laughs> joel you're fired <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, don't, don't want to do math right now. Can you just tell me? <laughs> See, I like uh, elite exotics math. It's a thousand. <laughs> it's a thousand. A thousand snakes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of snakes, though. You know, uh, to sell. You know, yeah, or have customers. Yeah. You know. Obviously, yep. you know, most people buy more than one, you know, which is great because mm -hmm. that's how, I mean, that's usually how I, I, I purchase snakes. I feel like in sprees and bursts, you know, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's going to be interesting how we all adapt as well to the areas that aren't doing shows and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, still selling snakes, uh, you know, you've got resources like Morph Market out there, platforms like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot. I mean, that's without that, I don't know what we'd have been doing. Yeah, yeah. Instagram, yeah. Um, you know, YouTube, yeah. all these different ways that you can go out there and um, kind of put your your name out there, put your snakes out there. So, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't think the shows were the only ways to do it, but I I will tell you that I do miss the the upfront interaction with people from the shows. <laughs> you yeah, know. Me too, man. Adapting to yeah. that is going to be kind of a big change. Of uh, it will be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if the shows don't come back, I feel like, and then you know, if they, especially if they just don't come back, um, right? That is going to be so lame for the hobby. Uh, yeah. But maybe you know, for new people getting in, it won't be that big of a deal. You know, I guess you know what's normal, right? Um, yeah. But what an what an integral part, you know, for. Mm. It's just so much fun going to shows and meeting people and like shit, you know, being able to put a face to an Instagram account is pretty important. I feel yeah. like in this hobby because, you know, this is a, uh, this is our, this is our industry, man. This is, this is all of us combined together to build this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, it, that, that too kind of speaks to another point, right? Is that right. The content and, and messages that we put out there reflect on the whole community. So, right. Let's, let's do the right thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah definitely. It's okay, okay to explore topics and it's okay to talk about things, but setting definites to stuff, uh, I, I find is kind of annoying and something that uh, kind of turns me off a little bit, right? Like, right, right. You know, and and especially if you watch some of the leaders in our industry, like Justin, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when he's talking about something that's not fully explored, he always leaves that caveat out there that, hey, this right. may change through through more knowledge. Right. And taking that right. that approach to all of us communicating, I think, is, uh, you know, is important yeah. to remember. So. Yeah, definitely. Dude, I completely agree. Yeah. There's there's a lot of unknowns, you know, in this mm -hmm. in this hobby, and especially exploring genes. Man, how, how confused were we 
at the beginning of this uh, with Cryptic and Krypton. I just sort of watched a <laughs> video on it. You know, like this is it's crazy out there. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you know, it's tough. You know. Yeah, new stuff to learn. And the more and more that the breeding takes place, and and we're testing out the what's kind of been put out there as, hey, this is the way it works. And then somebody does a bunch of breedings, and they're like, well, actually, I don't know. This is what I'm seeing over here. Like right. that's potatoes, right? That that's the the stuff we should be seeking is is okay. Well, cool. This guy has this other theory, and this is the legwork he put in to to prove that or to say right, right. info, you know? Um, yeah. 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 And I, I do, I do like that about a lot of videos they put out is like, you see, like Justin will show you, I was rewatching old, like old, like morph 101 videos that he was doing and stuff. And he'll do like uh, confusion and then he'll show, okay, this is a single gene confusion. And this is like, he'll like put it next to a normal, you know, mm -hmm. and he'll be like, it's a confusion because of this and like mm -hmm. explains every single thing about it. And it's like, that is, that's what uh, I need to get better at doing, you know, being able to convey stuff like that, because that's what's super helpful for like people like, you know, me, like we're going to, cause yeah. there is, was, is, and still is, you know, a lot of people investing into the market and they're investing into higher end animals, complicated genetics. Identification is tough. It is super so tough. tough. Yeah. Um, and so you do have to pay attention, uh, not only, you know, just because you need to be able to ID animals to sell to people, but you have to pay attention to yourself, you know, not everything on morph market is what it says it is, <laughs> you know, let's, let's be honest. So, you know, don't, don't, don't take it for hundred percent truth on a lot of these things. Cause yeah, there's some, there's some <laughs> crazy genetics going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Smart ass common incoming. Are you telling me not everything on the internet is true? Yeah, I'm alluding to it. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to come out and say that. Uh, you don't want not everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There might there might be some uh, some error. Let's call it <laughs> on some things. The error rate might exist. All right. All yeah, right, all yeah, right. yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but that is the truth, though, right there, right. And I, I've definitely come across those animals on work market and I see them labeled as something. And sometimes it's like, wait a second, I think there's actually m more going on. And then other times it's like, right. uh, I, I don't think that is what that it is. is. What it is. Right. Right. Yeah. Small town. I've seen a het spider. Yeah. A het spider. For is real? It? On the work yeah. market. <laughs> yeah. You can get awesome. some stuff on there. Dude, there is a crazy super vanilla on there right now that I, I don't understand what they're trying to say it is. So, you really? know, on there and look at it. Um, you can see, you can see I, don't, I don't even know if it's still on there, but it was like a super vanilla, super genetic stripe or something I'm like looking, that. I'm looking yeah. right now. Dude, it was, uh, it's a female uh, snake. It's a girl snake. And I was like, what is this? Right, let's see. Yeah, it's a super vanilla. Wonder, ah, I don't know. There's 36 of them on here. Let me see. Yeah, you'll have to see if you. We'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a temporary lapse while we try to bring this up and see if I can find it. So while you're kind of hunting around, and I'll pose the question to uh, to chat and everything like like that. Um, you uh, come across a snake on Morph Market, right? And it could be either way. Either you don't think everything they're saying is in it, or you see something that they haven't identified in it. Like, what's your approach on that, right? Do you, right. And let's say you're interested in the animals. How do you start the interaction? Um, well, okay. Let's let's say what this snake's called, and then how would how would I? Approach approach this this snake i guess maybe and see maybe i am ignorant maybe this is something but it's a super vanilla striped ghost i don't know what a striped ghost is and i don't know what a striped board ghost is, like, what is yeah super vanilla striped ghost okay can you bring up the picture without placing the person? Yeah, yeah i don't want to yeah, I don't wanna, uh, yeah you know so if you want to go and look you can go and look but um, I, I don't know what a striped ghost is. And maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe that is a morph and I've no, I 
maybe, maybe I have no idea, but you know, generally when I see something like that, I just wouldn't buy the snake. You know, I just wouldn't get involved with it unless it said like in the description striped is, or striped ghost is a new gene that we're working on, blah, 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 you know? Um, yeah. and I don't see that. Yeah. And, and the, I mean, you, know, you can tell a lot on the, usually a quality of picture. I feel like too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, nah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah Oliver. Oh, okay. Oliver's so looking at it. Let's say, for example, right? You were interested in, in super that. stripe bods. Yeah, super stripe maybe. Super stripe ghost. Super nah. vanilla. Super stripe ghost. If you see the animal, I, I would disagree with the genetics. Still. Me too. But. Me too. So all right, let's say you were interested in that snake, right? How would you approach asking about the title, right? Would you just come? Yeah, straight yeah. At it and I would. Say, I, I think I would have to. I'd be like, you know, I'm, I was I'm really interested in super vanillas because uh, that's why I saw the snake. I'm really interested in super vanillas. I really want a female super vanilla, like the right one, you know. Uh, so I'm always looking at super vanillas, and so I, I would. I would just be honest, like, hey, I don't know what what is what is a striped ghost. <laughs> what is that? Uh, right. I would I'm like some kind of like. You know, if I had to get that animal, like it was like, this is the coolest looking animal ever. Maybe it's the striped ghost thing doing mm -hmm. it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely ask about it. Cause there are, I feel like there's some, a lot of that on Morph Market where it's like, it's like listed in the title. Obviously it's not recognized yet by Morph Market or whatever, uh, but maybe it's their, you know, baby project. They're really working and there is something there. They usually explain it. I feel like in the pictures and mm -hmm. there's that. Yeah. And I'm just <laughs> Uh, yeah, if Joel, did, did you see next comment? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Arbitrary. This gene doesn't matter. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> yeah. Ask and, the pairing, Cameron. You know. Yeah, I, I think that's really good advice, right? Ask the pairing. I like what you said, too, of um, hitting the person up and just saying, hey, first time I'm hearing of something like right. that, could you explain it to me? You know? Um, right, right. Yeah, I just kind of posed that question because, you know, again, I, I think uh, it's almost more important to, to ask the question in a right way. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to come to the person and, and be like, bro, I've never heard of this and I'm the ball python master. The master dude. Yeah. You're an idiot right. because what is this, right? That's only yeah. going to bring neg right. negativity back. And right. Like, and maybe you're the idiot. You know, that's, that's the yeah. thing. Like, More than like with me, I'm probably right. there. That's what so, I mean. Like, I could just be completely <laughs> ignorant of what Ghost Stripe is. But, you know, yeah. I don't know what it is. And it's right. weird right. that there's no explanation. So, right. you know, but it could be something. Um, and if it is something, great. Yeah. And like Robert said, too, right? Like, if you have any questions, what, why just buy it? by the snake off of one picture, right? So maybe ask for some additional pictures. Um, you know, let's see who threw in there. 21st century reptile said, you know, asked to see what the mom and dad were. I would even take it one step further and see, do you have pictures of the mom and dad, right? Stuff like mm -hmm. that, right? So if you see something on Morph Market, my whole point of bringing that up and you're not either agreeing on what was labeled or it's throwing you for such a loop because it's labeled as something that you're not seeing right be kind about it reach yeah. out right right people, right some additional right. questions uh, yeah like what's going on especially if you're really into the animal yeah. um you know a lot of times in that case um if i'm not seeing anything abnormal i just kind of you know try and see if i find the, the you know i just don't consider that the right animal for me um, if it's like one of those super rare things or like, you know, there aren't many super vanilla females and it does appear to be maybe a super vanilla. So, you know, maybe you're getting something else in there like pastel or it's a super pastel, super vanilla or something crazy. And they just don't know what it is because they bought it from some guy on Morph Market or Craigslist, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it might even be worth the risk sometimes. So there's that to consider. Yeah, <laughs> could be, could be definitely. And, the you know, one of the most for sure ways of knowing what you got, breed it. Right. See what pops right. Out, right. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. And if you are going on that exploratory route, it's probably best not to dump it into like a four gene animal. 
So that <laughs> now you're working with like eight genes. Yeah. So, yeah. And a maybe yeah. gene, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah. Don't do that. <clears throat> yeah. Get that normal, get that normal for that job. Right. Right. Uh, Shane asked, have you guys heard of Kelico? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I some guy in Bakersfield. Yeah, he's 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 claiming I I think there's a a Kelico line in small town exotics <clears throat> or something something or other something like I feel that. Like, I feel like we're getting trolled. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Mis misspelled Calico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have my phone on mute. Dude, it's been a while. Rookie move. Yeah. Rookie freaking oh. move. No way. Oh my God. Dude, can you Sorry. guys, can you see that? No, it looks like it's build something. So that's the corner of Heather's laptop. And she said, look what your dog just did to my laptop. Oh, all right. Oh, oh. 2021 keeps getting better. Yeah, dude, darn for it. <laughs> That's a bad one. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, you know. Uh, I'll be Andre, selling a uh, pair of new, new white yeah. boots pretty soon. Yeah. They, they'll look kind of like a cow. They'll have spots. That'll right, right. Short hair. So Very boots. short hair. Uh, they'll be yeah. plastically made. Um, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Son, son of a gun. All right. right. Okay. We've been on here for 45 minutes now, Joel. Okay. Is that, that oh. is great. So yeah. the whole point of us coming on tonight was we wanted to talk about kind of next steps for reptiles unplugged. Uh, status of 2021. You doing all good? Then you're back. Yeah, yeah. I just put. I yeah. I just put my brace on. I'm good. I got you. All right. Good deal. Um. <laughs> so yeah, man. Um. Let's get to the point, right? Let's uh. Let's yeah, do that. Yeah, we yeah. beat around the bush for 45 yeah. minutes. Already. No, I can't believe we talked that long. It's impressive. Uh, I, I guess. I guess we've missed it a little bit. Ranting about nothing. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh. Yeah. You know, it's good to see everybody. Obviously. Uh, figuratively, I guess in the vision part, but yeah. So I guess future, future reptiles unplugged. That's what that's what we're going to talk about tonight. That was kind of the title and the point of the conversation. Um, so for the foreseeable future, uh, we will not be doing the live Wednesday interviews anymore. Um, you know, it's just kind of one of those things where it's it's actually surprisingly it's a lot of work to be honest um and with both of our jobs kind of stacking up and life's responsibilities you know two puppies macaw <clears throat> that kind of stuff um it's a ton of work and lining everything up being active in the interview is uh is another you know aspect of this that uh we take a lot of pride in and so we really like to put on a good show and just timing just feels like we were compromising the quality of our show so uh, I think we're going to take a step back from doing the lives, but uh, we've talked about a couple other things that we're interested in doing. So um, definitely not the last of the channel, but uh, last of the uh, live interviews for a little bit, right? Yeah, definitely. Like, you know, so just to kind of explain to you guys, uh, my day job recently has, has really picked up uh, momentum and um, it's basically forcing me to only have time for that. Uh, the snakes, a little bit of personal. And like Joel was saying, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that does take up some time. Um, and Joel and I are very committed to you guys because you guys have shown us so much uh, faith through the you know couple of years that we've been, <laughs> been doing this, always here supporting us. Uh, we want right. to bring you guys you know, really good content, um, not just quantity, right? Like, and that that's kind of one of the other things, right? Is, is um, you know, YouTube and kind of social media in general uh, really wants the, that activity all the freaking time, right? And if you're, yeah. you're not 
performing at that level, well, you kind of get dropped out of their algorithm a little bit. And, um, and so, and, you know, and the, and the thing is, is, is that right there is uh, just a little bit too uh, of what it is like, you know, we never really wanted to start this too and care about any of that. And uh, we found ourselves caring. So that's kind of, you know, the side of it too, is, is like, we like doing the show, um, but we also are competitive individuals and uh, a big way that is, you know, I guess accountable for the competition, like in this platform is, is, you know, views and exposure and, you know, trying to get your message out and talking to more people. So, um, yeah, and, not, and not so much like competitive amongst other channels, really, it was like, how do we keep out doing ourselves and making right, the show right. better and better and better and better. Right. And, and so it just kind of got to a tipping point with the both of us, uh, surprisingly, around the, the same time, actually. And, yeah. you know, we just we both made the decision together that I think it's the right time to stop the every Wednesday lives. Right. Right. We're definitely right. Not killing the reptiles on plug channel. And for any of you that have been around for a couple of years with us, we you know, we, we thank you guys. And I hope you guys have noticed that we try and evolve or do something a little different or better, you know, every so often. And, yeah. uh, and we just kind of felt it's a really good pivot time, I think for us yeah. and, uh, for the channel. Um, yeah. so we're going to, we're going to take that step, but it's going to take a, a little bit of organization in our time on our side. And then also a little bit of life organization. Um, but you know, we're into the new year now, uh, as soon as, uh, I feel like the, qualms of the beginning of the new year settle down uh we can kind of you know maybe uh maybe showcase what we're what we're kind of working on um yeah. but i'm actually pretty excited for it again which is great for us uh selfishly you know um but it's it's fun to be excited when when we're sitting down here yeah and, and you know like joel and i had taken the last couple weeks had multiple discussions on you know what what's kind of the right way to bring this to you guys because <laughs> I've been watching the comments kind of come through mm -hmm. it's nobody's fault. I mean, I guess it is right. a little right. It's partially Nick's fault, but Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, he was, he was the division we needed, you know, I guess he was the spark, but you know, I guess it fault is are still our own. Um, I don't want to completely blame Nick, but <laughs> but if anybody was to be blamed, right. it, 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 it could be, it maybe, could be him. maybe him. <laughs> he, has, he has the characteristics of somebody that would need to be blamed. Let's say yeah. that. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, we we have loved all the support that you guys have given us. It, again, the channel's not going away. We keep talking about this, like you know, say lovey, see you guys, right? And that, that's not the truth. This is just the next evolution of reptiles, yeah. Unplugged, so right? If you do have a live ever, it's it's more than likely just going to be Adam and I, you know, yeah. something like that. You know, it's just going to be us pulling up, to talk about whatever the hell is going on. Um, and uh, just hang out for a bit, you know, and then kind of go that separate way. It just wouldn't be, you know, we wouldn't be bringing anybody on, you know, primarily. So um, hopefully, uh, hopefully some other cool stuff though, obviously. Yeah, in the, yeah in the definitely. Year. And, you know, and kind of that commitment that I've made to myself of, you know, returning back to the things that, that like I'm finding, I need to set priorities in my life, right? So, you know, work, uh, the snakes, um, my relationship with Heather and other people immediately around me and all of that. Right. Um, you know, so I, I've got to make time for those, get back to that base. And, um, you know, part of that, I deactivated my, my Facebook account. Uh, right. You know, I, I'm done kind of messing around with that platform. I definitely still have Instagram. I, I do love... You know, <laughs> Shane, that was not an actual like stacked one, two, three of what the priorities are. <laughs> but anyhow, so yeah, you know, so social media for me, I definitely needed to relieve myself of like this feeling like I've got to continually post and do all of these right. things. Right. Um, yeah. I love the connections that I've made on, uh, especially Instagram, and I don't want those to go away. Um, I am still reachable 
you know, if you guys want to talk to me, send me a DM. It's more than likely going to turn out me giving you my cell phone number because I'm better at just talking <laughs> over the phone or texting. Um, but, you know, I, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that this isn't Joel and I saying goodbye. We're just not going to do the lives anymore. And we are going to be bringing content with no commitment of like every Wednesday or whatever. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Freedom, freedom over uh, our own content basically is what we're doing instead of uh, being regiment because regiment sucks and I'm sick of it. <laughs> like I already, you know, we already have work. I don't want to have this yeah. be work where I have to be here all the time, every day at the same time, you know, like it's lame after a while. I don't like it. So, you know, I'm one of those people that get bored easy and that's, that's part of it too, you know? So <clears throat> I, uh, I, I like the idea of, of bringing something better, uh, maybe better quality, better image, better audio. Um, maybe it's in the form of pre-recorded. You know, that was uh, right. said in the chat earlier. Um, yeah. So that that'll that'll likely be some uh, some of what we're going to bring to the table uh, on the channel. So I'm actually really yeah. excited for it. Yeah, me too. Right, right, exactly. Like we like that was the other thing we've been focusing on the last couple of weeks of like you know kind of how do we put this out there where people don't think like we're just bailing, we're tapping out, or doing whatever. That that's not us, right? And we we definitely want to bring you guys quality content, and this is just the next step to that to be able to do that for you guys. So right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wednesdays have been fun, the best, the most fun, actually. Yeah, yeah. it's actually been it's been crazy, man. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, everybody jumped on tonight. You know, yeah. we didn't really uh, let anybody know. Uh, so. These are all uh, team notifications, you know, so thank you all so much for that. Uh, keep Try it. Be on the lookout. Right. Try It's not about the super chat dollars or, you know, and that's another thing too, like Joel and I were talking about, like, you know, we didn't set out to be YouTube stars or to be YouTube famous. I don't know, however you want to say it. Right. Right? Like, right. you know, we, we just saw an opportunity to bring, um, so, like, content and information about the things that we love in this hobby to you guys through interview format and some other things. And uh, there's lots of great interviews going on that are being posted on, you know, YouTube and, and other places. So it's not like you guys are going to completely be starving for content. And then Joel and I, that'll, you know, allow us to really think of some good ideas, present it to you guys. And uh, we hope you guys like it. Um, yeah, no guests needed. <laughs> I like that hashtag, Nick. <laughs> no guests needed. Where's Adam's beard? Yeah. Adam's beard is in an infant, infant stage right now. <laughs> it is a little infant stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how all good beards start, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll just keep the the live running every Wednesday with no nobody, and everybody can just come here and chat in here. <laughs> Hey, there you go. I, I might <laughs> something like that for you guys. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no gets needed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 what we'll run with for the rest of the year. Uh, <laughs> give us give us a minute. Give us a minute on that uh, on that in initial spree. <laughs> Biffit, I'm sending Adam say shave soap. Uh, Who needs them here? <laughs> <laughs> I have been missing it a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it's been nice too, being smooth. And I know Mrs. Beach Bum enjoys. Well, definitely doesn't enjoy this level, but uh, right. the smoothness she likes. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 spiky side, the spiky yeah. side. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, but I guess uh, you know we've been on now for just about an hour. Um, you know, uh, that, that sort of, sort of wraps it up for us. Uh, mm -hmm. just, you know, I guess final thanks, you know, appreciate it. Obviously, uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Uh, hope you all are excited or happy with, uh, what we bring to the table next, but, um, this has been a lot of fun and, uh, we have raised a lot of money for good causes. So, uh, shout out to you all for, uh, for doing that. Really. Oh, thanks for bringing that up, Joel. Yeah, you know, that that has definitely been one of the highlights uh, for me going through this whole adventure, doing the lives every weekend, or every mm -hmm. week, and says, you know, the charity ones that we did, they stand out. Right. So, yeah. yeah, that was cool, man. A lot of fun. So yeah. um, until next time, I guess uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you all later. Yeah. Are we going to do the official? Hold on. I can't.
Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, guys. We're doing the official Joel out. Oh, we're going to high five this way. How are we doing this? Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> see, see, guys. Yeah. Doing the deal.